The European Central Bank is becoming ever more powerful and its mission ever more critical. But saving the euro and overseeing more than 120 banks across Europe means an ever-increasing workload for its employees. Many complain of relentless stress and being driven to their limits. There are so many small signs. You're constantly exhausted, burned out in the truest sense of the word. You think, oh, could I ever use a lengthy break from work? Or you start to cry for no reason. This man was diagnosed with burnout and needed six weeks of medical treatment. I just couldn't go on. I'd wake up in the middle of the night, bathed in sweat, racked by panic attacks. The ECB Employees' Union is alarmed. It carried out a survey that showed about a third of the workforce on the verge of burnout, with another third feeling overworked. For years we've been asking for employees' working hours to be recorded. We've observed that people here are so motivated and their tasks so difficult that 12 to 14 hour workdays are the norm in some departments. 2,800 people work at the ECB. About half of them have short term contracts or come from temp agencies. The union is calling on the bank to create a thousand additional staff positions. We see strategic and operational risks. We made that clear in an open letter to the bank governors. We think there's a conflict of interest. The governors serve national interests and keep the ECB on a short leash. That doesn't work. It creates risks. The union says in a worst-case scenario, the ECB won't be able to carry out its mission. Management is starting to respond. What we've done is open a hotline that workers who might need help can call anonymously. And in a few weeks, in the regular employee survey we do, we'll try to understand exactly what the problems are in order to deal better with possible discontent. Burnout syndrome has been a taboo subject at the ECB so far. But it's something that now has to be faced up to.